Hey all, welcome back to my channel, ServiceNow Training and Placement. So in today's video, we will discuss about the events in ServiceNow. Events are an indication in ServiceNow that something notable has occurred. Events can be generated by server-side script, workflow, flow designer, or any other ServiceNow processes. So how we can create an event and trigger the notification using that. Okay. So let's understand first what the event is. Firstly, you need to create an event in an event registry. Thereafter, you need to generate that event, like you need to write a piece of code of script that will generate that event. Okay. Once that piece of code will execute, that event will be queued. Okay. And it will perform the action attached to that event. Here are the three steps to configure a notification using the event. Firstly, you need to create an event in the event registry. Then create a notification using that event. And the last, trigger that event using that server-side script. This is the syntax which is used to trigger an event in any server-side script. You need to write gs.eventq. This will queue your event whenever the piece of code will execute. There are four parameters to this syntax. First is the event name. Whatever event you configure in the event registry, you need to select that. Then you will write glide record object. Okay. Then param1 and param2. These are the two parameters which are used to store dynamic value of the recipients. So let's move on to our ServiceNow instance and we will see how to create our event first. In ServiceNow, you just need to type event registry. Just click on new. Here is the form for event registry. The table is not a mandatory asset here. Like you need not to select a table for any event. So whenever any, whenever this event will occur, the action will be completed. So let's uh, write demo dot or say event dot motivation. Okay. Priority or fired by let's say fired by any server side script, let's say business rule. Okay. Call or access if you wanted to give restriction or tracking, you can otherwise no need. Just save this event. So our first task event registration is completed. Now we need to configure a notification using this event. I have already created one notification because in previous video we have already seen how to create a notification. So. Here is the notification. We just need to select the event we have created, like event or notification is our event. Save this one. Now, move on to the use case I have created for you. Like we will trigger this event with our use case. So here is the use case. If a new user is created or updated with department as customer support, add that user in service desk group and send email to user manager. So firstly, we will think like how a notification is different like from record inserted or updated or two event is fired. So this task cannot be completed by record inserted or updated. 
because you need to send a notification when particular action is happening what is that action whenever a user is created this is one action and the department is customer support then first add that user in this service test group and then trigger the notification so those are the sequence of events which are happening here how we will do this let's understand first this is the user table so they are saying if they are created a new user or they are find any user with the department customer support let's say test dot user or let's say test dot event dot user I'll give department as a customer support. This email needs to trigger to user manager. Let's suppose the manager is Lucius. Give some email. Let's save this one. So our huge case is saying first we need to add this user to service test group. Add that user in service test group and send email. First we will add this user to service test group and thereafter we will be sending that notification. So how we can do this? We will be needing some business rule or any server side kind, uh, kind of scripting. So for this, we are firstly creating a business rule. Add user to group and notify manager. In which table this business rule run? User table. Just click on advance. So we need to trigger a notification that will include some fraction of seconds. So we are selecting async, insert or update. Whenever any record get inserted or updated in this async, uh, in this user table, and the department is what customers. Let's see this. First, we need to add this user. How we can add a user in any group? We need to create a mapping in this sys user gr member table. I'll show you that table. Sys user. This is the name. Yes. If you see this record, if we wanted to add any user to as any group, we need to create this mapping. Okay. So let's move on to our business rule. Okay. Let's copy this table.
where GRM we are taking equals to mu. Okay, we need to initialize. What will be the user current dot sysid? We need to select that user on which we are performing the action. Then user group. Here it is saying add user to the service test group. So we just need to take this service test group. Service desk. Okay. This is the sysid of service desk. will insert so now at this point in time we need to send a notification as well so we will queue our notification gs dot event queue write the event name so our event name is event dot notification The demo record object is current. Okay. We are sending this notification to manager. So we can write here the current dot manager. Okay. I'm keeping this as a no need to add this second parameter. Okay. So what we have done, we have just write this piece of code to add that user to that group and after that we are triggering our, our notification using this event queue let's say this okay so now what we need to do we just need to test okay again i am going in this user form If you didn't see this manager field on your form, just go and uh, configure form layout or form design. Put this manager field here. I'm just creating a new user event dot user2. Okay, I'm writing event user2. Putting the department as in customer support. Again, email will be now. some new digits okay and here i'll select the manager as let's say a manager okay so before we run our test we just need to check our notification what field we have included in this notification so where is our notification so here we have selected this event is fired like and we have selected the event name then we have selected this event param one recipient okay so we have given there the event, uh, current dot manager that's why that manager should be receiving that notification okay thereafter we have written this body like we have added user dynamically name which user to this service test group okay and here like dear manager we have seen a new user in customer support department hence as per a request we have added this user in service test group here is the detail of that user now so we just need to test this complete event notification and our service script now here we were creating this user and just we are creating this saving or submitting so at this point in time 
this user should be added in this service desk group. Okay, let's move on to this mapping. Currently, we have seven user. And you will see here that this user has been, this mapping has been created like service desk and event to user mapping. And if we open this group, under the group members, you will see here this event user to user has been added. Now, we need to test our notification. If you go here and type emails, the email log will open. You will see here this one email we got, like the recipient is the able tutor which we have selected in the manager. And here is the subject of that notification. Let's open this email. Go down and click on preview. So here is the complete content of the notification match every parameter like user ID we have given, the name we have given, the email and the body. So that is how we can create a notification using the event. Okay. In my next video, I'll explain how to trigger a notification using the Flow Designer. So please keep watching the next video. And if you are really liking this video, please drop a comment. It will help me to create better and better content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching.